Well, Jennifer, it remains a monumental mess here tonight at Northwest Metals. The torched remnants of twisted metal and tires. Fire crews have packed up. And earlier this evening, neighbors gathered sharing their concerns over what this all means for their health and the land around here. In the, the first whiff, I just, you can't breathe. A punch to the face, that thick smoke streaming across the sky. It looked almost liquid. I mean, black, nasty stuff. It's an image Rich Kaufman can't shake, and the questions continue running through his mind. How are my lungs going to be affected? How is, you know, my sick neighbor? Air quality after that five alarm blaze at Northwest Metals remains a worry, though today. We didn't see anything of concern that would show up on this. Readings reveal things are once again safe. That's according to the EPA. We use these to go handheld, and so when we make our air monitoring runs, uh, we'll walk through the neighborhoods and we'll, we'll collect data in real time. At one point, we know crews were pumping half a million gallons of water an hour on those flames. That water collecting downhill, firefighters setting up this boom to collect any oil. So what about the rain that washed through the nearby neighborhoods? I reached out to the Bureau of Environmental Services, and tonight I'm told they haven't detected any harmful runoff in either Oregon DOT or City of Portland storm drains. We were really concerned immediately when the fire started. And at nearby Grace Presbyterian Church, a full house, the Cooley Association of Neighbors, sharing their thoughts on the response and the scrapyard itself. I hope that it's a, a wake-up call for the DEQ to really start focusing in on regulation of these places. This environmental scare bringing these neighbors together in the hopes that something like this doesn't happen again. It's a way to, you know, learn and do better Pretty if good. you take the opportunity. And here's a live look tonight at that scrapyard with this initial emergency response now wrapping up. The DEQ will soon take over. I'm told additional testing will be uh, taking place, including soil samples, uh, additional cleanup and waste disposal, as well, Jennifer, as more water quality testing. Those, of course, are all things we will be following. Live tonight in Northeast Portland, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News. We certainly know you'll keep us updated, Cole. Thank you. And